Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Oh my god, let's not do that ever again. How's everybody doing? Are we excited to continue our trek up Hell Mountain? Um, I know for one thing, I am. Uh, I'm always excited to, to continue the trek up Hell Mountain. Uh, you know, what, what this mountain represents to me as a person is, uh, it doesn't, how about this? Here's the answer. Doesn't matter. Today is the day. Today is the day. I don't know what we're doing today, but today, okay. Why, why did he do that? I'll never know. High school technique, baby. Today's the day that we, we really listen to our, our own selves. You know, this is all, this game's all about learning to be you and accepting to be you and all the, the troubles and trials and tribulations that come along with being you. This game, you know what? I would have loved this game in high school. I would have. I think I really honestly maybe would have. Probably because I had more time to waste and I was not an intelligent man. What does that make me today playing this game? A stupid man? Well, that's the only option. That's the only uh, option I can think of. Is that I'm not a smart man. One day though, we're gonna we're gonna really kind of understand this this little m part of of the climb, and understand just like how best to. Oh, I hate myself. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone. For the sad old earth must borrow its mirth, but has trouble enough of its own. Ella Weaver Wilcox. Mm. Mm. Really? You waited that long because oh, I paused the game? Shut the Ooh. F and heck up, my dude. Nobody likes you. I think you're a bad developer who doesn't know how to make good games, but you have know how to make great YouTuber games. That is that is your lot in life. What? No. Better by far that you should forget and smile. I actually hate how loud this man is. Sad. Christina Rossetti. I'm tired of playing the dumb man's witness. I'm tired. I'm tired of playing the dumb man's what? version of the witness. Someone murder me, please. What? And my in significant pathetic oh. life. Hey, I'm glad the coffee cup freaking <clears throat> doesn't move. What? High school it. What? Okay, that's fine. Something <laughs> filled up my heart with nothing. Someone told me not to cry. Now that I'm older, my heart's colder. I can see that it's a lie. The arcade fire. You know what this guy did? I'll tell you exactly what he did. He went into my high school literature book, ninth grade. Didn't even go very far. Didn't even get to the, to the smart stuff where all the seniors study. This dude went to my ninth grade literature book, found some poems that sounded smart. He's like, you know what, dude? Gamers are dumb. And this is going to sound really smart to them. Don't fall for this man's lies. I'm telling you right now. I'm glad the music still doesn't play, even though I turned the volume back on. You know, I don't need the music. I don't need it. I can actually hear it in the, like, quiet distance. Let's try something here. Crank up the mouse sensitivity a little bit. Don't show the mouse cursor. No! I hit quit. That's fine. We can go back in. It's got to take a while to load. This game is, uh, apparently very, 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 <laughs> very, very, uh, complicated. Oh. Let's go. That's actually way worse. I can't even tell where I'm trying to move at that point. So we're going to keep... You know what? Okay. I didn't... I didn't... I actually didn't... I stand amid the roar of a surf-tormented shore, and I hold within my hand grains of the golden sand. How few. Yet how they creep through my fingers to the deep while I weep. While I weep. Oh God, can I not grasp them with a tighter clasp? 
Can I not save one from the pitiless wave? Is all that we see or seem but a dream within a dream? Edgar Allan Poe. Not even, we're, we're barely five minutes in this episode and I hate this man, everything he's ever done. God, imagine if Quop had freaking weird ass pretend smart quotes. Because if it did, would it have made it a better game? Mm. Debatable. All right, we're back here. This is a win. This is where we start going much more patiently. <clears throat> at least <clears throat> trying to. So we're just gonna whip it around and then oh. launch ourselves. Come back down. Launch oh. ourselves. <clears throat> I'm starting to get good at the pogo maneuver. Mainly because I keep having to use it over and over again. Come on. Okay. We're fine. Everything is 110% fine. Okay. Pogo. Mm. Oh, no. High school technique. Oh. There we go. There we go. Daddy. No, what? Why? What? Okay. Well, we didn't go far, at least. I'm just not quite sure. Why that is what happened there. I'm not gonna lose my cool. No, you stay. Okay. No, no. So we're just gonna kinda line ourselves up. That's fine. This rock is, is It has no grip, apparently, is what this rock has. Mm. No. Do what we do every time. Just push ourselves. Mm. Not that way, you moron. Just go. Okay. Whoop. Okay, we're good. No, we're not good. It's fine. Why? Why is that what you decided to do? It's like, it's so weird because the minute the, the hammer touches the rock, he just pushes himself like with all of his might. I get it. You know, you're Hercules. It's been a while since you've had to use your mortal arms and not use your strength. But like, come on, man. No. The devil's chimney has returned. Do, I mean, like, the, the question I guess I have for viewers is like, is this enjoyable for you? Do you like watching me struggle going up through the fucking devil's chimney every episode? And like, what the fuck is up with that? Why does that happen every time? I don't understand. The phys developer, I'm sorry, but you're bad. You're bad at figuring out fucking mechanics. The momentum in this game makes no sense. And that's a fucking problem on a game based on fucking... Like, it's funnier when, the, when it's Quop and Quop is free. Here's the thing. I know for a fact whatever's at the top of this mountain is not worth it. There's no way a man who puts ninth grade literature in his game and pretends he's smart thinks that this, whatever's at the top of this mountain is worth it. There's just no fucking way. Whoop. 
But really, like, who's stupider? The developer? Or the man who paid money to play the developer's game? Answer? Me. I'm the stupid one. Dude's laughing all the way to the bank with my $12. That's like a few fucking Subway sandwiches. I don't even like Subway sandwiches, but at least they would fulfill me. Ah. This is just sadness. Like, why is that? Like, I feel like I need a fucking trackpad. Using a mouse is just not that good. No, go the other way, you idiot. Drag yourself up, daddy. My mouse pad is actually like slipping with from my playing this game. Do not let fucking go. Oh, you fucker, dumb shithole, motherfucking stupid naked cauldron man, piece of trash city. Mm. I would rather stretch my dick out with my hand, take a saw, and gently saw my dick off over the course of a three-hour period than go through Devil's Chimney again. Ugh. The, it's just the way I have to contort my wrist. Oh, God, you hear that? Ugh. The way I have to contort my wrist to make this work. Like, I have such a claw grip happening right now. Like, is there anything I can do to make my mouse movement smoother? I'm having an issue because, like, it actually is starting to hurt my wrist and i played a lot of professional starcraft with this very not the same mouse but the same brand mouse and the same one just an older one and i never had this issue in my life and i played zerg that's a lot of micro Ugh. I also hate that when you unpause it, the guy freaks out because the mouse wasn't where it once was. So here's the thing. This game sucks. Fuck you, you dumb slut! Okay, um... Oh, you idiot. Don't you dare. See, that could be a nice little technique, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a devil's chimney technique? I don't... My dude, I am going at an angle here. What more do you want from me? Like... There we go. Don't let go. Ugh. Here's my professional opinion on this game. Don't buy it. Don't waste your money.
Come on. I'm trying to go slow and steady here. All I'm doing is learning to hate myself more. Which I guess is a skill I forgot I had since I was in high school. So if it's a high school technique. I can't get the fucking thing up fast enough. I wish you could... Like, it actually just hurts my wrist. Come on. Mm. No. See, it's it's slipping on its own. <clears throat> Why am I having so much problem at the devil's chimney? I'm getting good at keeping getting back up to the devil's chimney. I've gotten through the devil's chimney like three times. This rock right here, I know, I know, was placed to torture. That was almost good. That was at an angle that I would argue was a good angle. Is it just, is it actually glitched into the rock? <laughs> nope. Okay. <clears throat> Don't. <clears throat> just wait. Careful. Pull. Launch, <clears throat> grab. We're back. We're back. This whole fucking episode to get back up to this trash spot. I know, I know I'm going fast, but I don't care. Fuck rule one. Who needs patience when you have momentum? Rule three or two or four. I don't know. Here's a new rule. Whenever the... F Here's rule five. Whenever the narrator comes on, tell him to fuck off. Rule six is for the viewers. Oh. Don't buy this game. <laughs> oh. oh no. Get out of there. Get out of there. Sometimes it hooks onto things, other times it doesn't. And I don't understand oh. what the difference is and why. High school technique. This is this is where the high school technique was invented. And this is where it should be perfected. Cause while it's called the high school technique, I promise you, for most people, high school is not where it is perfected. Usually well after college do you get perfect at it. Even then debatable. I'm trying to just do like straight. The thing is. Okay, I'm, I wish I could explain to you what my thought process is right now, but my brain is such a jumbled mess. I hate that thing right there. That, that feels really good actually, hang on. I just want to bang on it some more. You know what? I've got an idea. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. But what if we use that pad? Yeah, see, I think that's actually 
the right idea here. We just swing ourselves in. Whoop. See, the mouse is like jittering a little bit. Alright, we are at least reliably coming to this end every single time. Let's mouse sensitivity down a little bit more. So here's the shitty part about all this. Do not teeter-totter yourself. No, I just want to get up. How? I don't understand. Like, I understand what we're supposed to do. I don't understand how to do it. Can I ask what happened there, buddy? I tried to get a shortcut my way up to the top. Like, I'm just trying to high school technique my way to the very top here. Right, you know what? Rule one, I know. Patience. Who needs patience when you have momentum? Rule three. Alright, you know what? Can't high school your technique when there's nothing to stick it in. Okay, up. Okay. I, I don't know how to do that part. But we're already 23 minutes in, so I'm stopping the episode here. We technically made progress compared to where we ended last episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I don't know what I'm going to do about this part. I don't know if my wrist can handle the movements necessary to do what I need to do here. But I'm going to try. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.